Bang! These knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is playing a video games. And today we are doing, or I'm doing the pass around giveaway gift knife. Taking one of these and replacing one. Um, I'll explain why Kara's not doing hers in just a second. Let me scoot these over just a bit. We'll do one at a time. And. I don't think I really need to explain too much about the knives, but the reason why, because I don't know if you guys watched the first um, video on this one where we unboxed them, um, Kara was really liking this knife, but then uh, she, uh, which I'll just take it out right now, which is a Microtech OTF, which even though she liked it a lot, she can't carry it around here, and... Also, and then she was still going to keep it even though, but she didn't have nothing of equal value that she was willing to get rid of for it. Um, especially since we're already grabbing one and since she can't carry it. And this, I think this thing's really cool. I thought about trading for it, but I also feel like it's kind of a low blow for us to take the most expensive knife. You know, even if we replace it with something of equal value because our plan was to kind of do the same thing was to to take something of um small value and add something of high value we've been treated so good by the community and everybody's been so good to us that we feel like it's only proper um and jt from jt's knife life he's the one that started this and Jeff Jewel threw this knife in um, and took something cheaper. So he already did that too, which is really awesome from him. And JT's always been so cool that, um, you know, we want to do good by him too. I don't know if, you know, what's going to make it back to him. But I know the, the, the better the knives that are in here, the more better knives will come back in. So I think it's awesome that he even starts doing stuff like this. I mean, this is just such an awesome thing. So this is a CRKT GSO or GSD. Sorry, GSD. I almost said GSO. I almost look like an O. GSD. Um, I'm not picking this one, but I figured I would show it. It is really cool and it does have a hollow ground blade. I actually love this blade shape and I do like this thing. It is a manual knife. It's not assisted. The clip is a little off that's probably the one of the main reasons why i mean i could just bend it back but um i kind of have a pet peeve against clips like that but um so we're gonna put this one back and um i'm just gonna show the knives really quick and then show you the one i'm gonna pick and then i'll show you what i'm gonna put back in all right so this one's next this is a Tucson, and this is a Japanese Tonto. This is a really cool knife. Um, I know you guys are probably thinking I'm going to take this because it's a Tucson, but I'm not going to. It is a very, very cool knife, but there's something else in here that I really liked. So let's put this one back, but this is a badass knife. Also, if you're watching this video, then pretty soon... There is going to be a, a giveaway video going up. So if you want to uh, get in the, the giveaway, we're doing our Patreon and our regular giveaway because we are past 2,500 subs, which is absolutely amazing. So if you want to check that video out and get involved, go ahead. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool knife. This was probably the other knife that I was going to pick. I was going to, so it was between this one and the one that I'm probably going to pick. Although, um, now that I got this thing back in my hands, it just might be this one. Let me uh, show you the other ones. I'm going to leave this one out because I might pick that one. I never had one of those, and I really like it. And I really like this one, too. But I'm not going to pick this one. I am looking for an American Tonto with a nice thin grind, which this one actually is pretty thin um, behind the edge. It's not bad. But I'm looking for more of a work knife Tonto, not a, um, you know, like uh, a carbon fiber one. So... 
that's pro you know that's why I'm not picking this one but this thing is very smooth but no I'm, I'm thinking about getting a uh, like a, I don't know maybe a code four or I thought about the new bailout because that thing is pretty awesome but was there something on top of here I might have to rewind this video and make sure there wasn't something on top of there all right and then this one the beast this thing's massive um, oh, I didn't even tell you guys, this was the Bastion Falcon, the ba Bastion Falcon, I'm sorry, and then, uh, I'll go back to the other ones in a second, and then this one is a Zahn Knives, um, D01, 440C G10, cool knife, I mean, a nice big knife, and I love big knives, and this thing is not small, let me show you. Here's the Terzola Custom, which is uh, about nine inches. So this thing is not small. It's like nine and a half inches. I think that's what the Terzola is. I guess I could double check right now with a, a nine inch knife for sure. Here's a real nine inch knife. I know this 100%. So yeah, this thing's over nine inches. This thing's probably nine and a quarter this one so the terzola is just barely under nine but yeah this thing is a beast but i'm not going to pick it even though it is a great knife for someone who likes big knives the action is just rockets out easy access to the lock bar nice and smooth and you can dye this whatever color you want this is blue so you could dye this black so you know, there's lots of different options you could go with on this one. I'm noticing I do have... Oh, yeah, this was for the Metamorph. Okay, so what's left is this one and this one. These two. So this is my decision between this one and this one. Oh, man, I like that. Let me look at this. These are both awesome knives. I like this one okay so i gotta tell you i did take this one apart because i noticed from here to here it was gritty so what i did was i took it apart and i polished the foster bronze washers and i put it back together i cleaned out the pivot really good so it's a lot more smoother it's not drop shutty or nothing you know you can see it's always going to be a tight pivot type of knife i'm not really too fond of the thumb flick because of this ridge right here it kind of hits right there See how it hits? So what you gotta kinda do is slide up this and shoot it out before you hit there. And it's kind of difficult. You still kinda bump into it, but the middle finger flick is all right. You gotta kinda use your nail though. It is, you know, nice and sharp, so it grabs you really good, but I like how thin this blade is. It's nice and thin, great grind, great blade geometry. This thing's nice and thin too. Um, the, the whole blade is nice and thin. You see how it gets thin and then gets thicker? So this has got a pretty good grind. Yeah, you see all my sharpening lines. That's for me to make sure um, I'm starting out at uh, a degree and an angle that I want to when I'm sharpening. Um, and to keep checking. Man, this thing's awesome. Both of these are really cool. Let me show you the knife I'm throwing in. So whichever, between one of these two, they're both right around the same price. I think this one's 65, 50 to 65. And then this thing's basically the same price. We are going to put in the Artisan Titanium Shark in S35VN. Um, it does have this little scratch right there. It has been sharpened. Um, it We got it secondary, so it... Um, it did it was already sharpened before we got it and then i put an edge on there a new edge so it did have a couple little spots that were hit um right here from the previous owner when sharpened but it's not even a big deal that's going to happen when you sharpen a knife like this um so it's not a big deal great action um still very smooth it hasn't had many sharpenings it's only had um i think two um, one from the previous owner and then me so not that big of a deal it's got a nice edge it's very very sharp um, but a lot of people seem to like these so somebody just told me it was their favorite knife so um 
I figured it'd be a good knife to throw in here. It's got carbon fiber. It's a cool knife, and we're not really using it. Like I said, it does have that one little scratch. But, you know, because of the price difference, I figured it'd be cool, you know, to swap out. And then whoever, you know, winds up switching or trading or whatever, you know, either one, it'll go back to JT or two, it'll, you know, stay in the... Uh, or, I mean, somebody will take it and trade it out for something else. Now, the centering looks a little off right now, but I'll, I'll fix that before we send it because it will go to uh, pretty much centered. I think uh, I think the pivot's just a little, yeah, yeah. It was The pivot was just a little loose. I need to, damn it, my focus. But it'll go to centered. I'll tune it up. But um, there you guys go. There's the knife I'm putting in for one of these two. <laughs> I'm past 11 minutes already. I already chose this one. This was the one I was going to pick until I pulled this one back out. Doggone it. All right, let me pause and think. All right, so Kara is kicking my ass telling me I got to pick the Metamorph. So we're <laughs> I'm picking the Metamorph. Um, I really want the piercer, but, you know, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> no, I do, uh, I do want this knife. Um, I, I do think it's a better slicer. This thing's a good slicer though, you know, period. I, I just was trying to choose which one. So I took a piece of cardboard and put through each one. I probably shouldn't have did that, but I did. And, uh. Uh, this one has had an edge put on it, so I feel like it's only nice that I put a knife that has had an, I don't know, you know, maybe somebody might want, you know, a sharpened edge. So that might be a good thing to somebody, um, which, you know, it's, it's a proper edge. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pick the metamorph. So there you guys go. I'm picking this guy. We haven't had one. We almost bought one of these. Um, so it, it makes sense. So there you guys go. Sorry it took so long. Love you guys. Peace.